everybody, welcome. We are here today at Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays because we are seeing none other than Brendan Frazier. I'm so excited. Brendan Frazier, we're seeing him for the Candlelight Processional. This is gonna be a full, uninterrupted video of the awesome Candlelight Processional with none other than Brendan Frazier as the na narrator. I am so excited. He has to be probably one of the biggest, I think the biggest ad that we've ever seen at Epcot for this narration. Are you excited? Yeah, he won Best Oscar last year. Best Oscar, Best Actor. Oh, sorry, cut that. <laughs> he won Best, the Oscar for Best Actor. Yes, there you go. So uh, anyway, let's get going. I cannot wait. We'll talk about the show after. I'm so excited. Hopefully we get him. So this line for Brendan Fraser is absolutely insane. It is the longest line that I've ever seen at any candlelight processional, any concert, anything that they've ever had at this theater. I've never seen it this long. It stretches all the way from the American Pavilion to past Germany, literally past Germany. So it goes through Italy, all the way past Italy, to Germany, past Germany. Um, it's crazy. Um, and um, some people were getting here at noon to wait in line for Brendan Frazier um, for the 5.30 show at noon. And so we are here hoping to get on the 8.30 show. We've been in line since about 5 o'clock. So hopefully we get in. They're going to tell us whether or not here in just a minute. This is my second day trying to get in. It's insane, I, right? I had to watch it from back here, and I got in line today at 5.30. Yeah, exactly. And I'm doing the 8.30 show. It's exactly. Hopefully we get in this one. It's crazy. Tony is a music director for Disney Live Entertainment. He has worked at Walt Disney World for over 25 years and is a four-time international quartet champion, as well as a member of the Barbershop Harmony Society's Hall of Fame.
Please welcome to the stage the Voices of Liberty and the Epcot Candlelight Processional.
Brendan Fraser. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here too. I'm not sure if you know, but Walt Disney began this tradition of the candlelight processional at Disneyland over 60 years ago. And in the time since, millions of guests have enjoyed this Christmas story just like you're about to tonight. The traditional carols, especially the glorious music of the holiday season. So to continue this marvelous heritage, let's all sit back, relax. Enjoy our magnificent orchestra. Awesome singers. My fellow castmates. Shall we begin? In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin who was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus.
It came to pass in those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were filled with great fear and the angel said to them fear not for behold I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards all.
Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy.
when the wise men had come and gone and the angels had flown off to spread the good news, a quiet settled over the stables in that little town of Bethlehem. Alone for the very first time, Mary and Joseph looked down at their beautiful baby, sleeping peacefully in the manger. All at once, the worry, the joy, the bewilderment, and the awe that they felt for this tiny child washed over them. They felt the magnitude of what had just occurred and wondered what the future would bring for them. In the stillness of the evening, they watched as Jesus slept, listening for the soft sounds of his breath, for the rustle of hay in the night breeze, hearts swelling with the wonder of all he would become. for all the miracles of Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace himself was a man, a human being, and he walked through this world in the most human way possible, with love. He didn't have much, but what he did have, he shared and it became plenty. Food, water, shelter, care, he met the world around him with empathy. Saw hunger, shared the food from his plate. He saw thirst poured from them from his own cup. Saw sickness and offered his time for their healing. Soothed them with his human hands. Jesus Christ found it in his earthly heart to give of himself to the people who loved him, and even to the people who betrayed him, to all people. That a baby in a manger could grow to become a man who taught a world of people what it means to love one another. That's 
the spirit of this season. And it lives inside each and every one of us. The greatest joy of being human is to love one another. And when we share that love, that is the greatest gift of all. Although I have the best seat in the house. Yeah. Actually, 
untrue. They're all very, very good. It's especially the ones in the very back. Yeah. Yeah. I see you too. All the way to the China Pavilion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but before you go, I would like to leave you this evening with one final wish. season means something different to everyone. Across languages and customs, we all have traditions that we hold dear. We pass them down and we share them with one another at every opportunity because ultimately, the message at the heart of our celebrations is a simple one that stands the test of time. Peace on earth. Goodwill to all. goodness it was so good what did you think I loved it I love him uh, he's so nice he's so good he always seems so genuine I think my eyes are starting to water up at the end when he started yeah. like talking about how he didn't want to come off the stage yeah. <sighs> by the way this was the last show that he was doing this festival um, and I think he really was like I think he was down bad that this was his last show because I just I mean he's been if you know anything about Brendan Fraser he's been through so much and um, by the way I don't think there's ever been a longer line waiting for the Candlelight Processional in, in, in its history. It was all the way back to like, I'm not kidding you, like almost China. It was all the way back. Um, and we ended up waiting from like 5 o'clock to get into the 8.30 show. And we were like the last five, like, there was only like five or ten people behind us that actually made it in. So we barely made it in. So the angle of the video is a little bit off to the side because we, we ended up having okay. to sit on the on the um the, the, the like blocks on the I side like our seat. but i thought our seat was good because it was so close yeah, there and there was, was no one around us and there was no trees yeah. in front of us so anyhow i hope you enjoyed the candlelight processional let us know what you think in the comments below are you a big brendan frazier fan i hope you are because if you're not you need to get on board because he's the greatest um so anyhow leave us a comment below like subscribe share until we see you next time the noble way it's the easy way bye bye everybody